So the Harvard Globeheads debunked their model yesterday. You're not testing on a ball, guys. The earth is flat. We're gonna put one magnet here in California. Seriously, I'm about to lose it. I'm getting pissed. I don't know how you're gonna take a one mile piece of toilet paper and hit space. I thought he was gonna die, dude. I literally thought he was gonna die. Wow. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. That was complete shock. I literally wanted to cry, dude. You can't write that stuff, guys. I'm just having my freaking world rocked. Shut the fuck up! It's everything. I know I'm right. And I've always been right. Do you guys get it? Do you guys fucking get it? <laughs> My name is Nathan Thompson. I'm an independent researcher, testing everything, independently verifying if what we're being told about the shape of the earth is true or untrue. My name is Ben Fisher, and I'm a mechanical engineering graduate student from the University of Harvard. I'm Blake Powers, and I'm an electrical engineer. Died. Oh. There we go. My flatter story was first introduced by B.O.B., the rapper, and I thought, what is this guy talking about? But then a few months later, I had been studying applied neuroscience, biochemistry, epigenetics uh, with a gentleman who was probably the smartest man I've ever met. And I asked, he told me to look into flat earth, and I couldn't call him stupid because he was the smartest man I'd ever met. This is called the azimuthal equidistant map or the Gleason's map. I don't know if this is 100% accurate. I just know it's a thousand times more accurate than a spinning ball. The preponderance of evidence is overwhelming. I mean, I've got over 150 proofs, reasons that I believe the Earth is flat and stationary, memorized alphabetically. Abyssal plane, accelerometer, Aries failure, airplane level flight, Elias effect, ambient light from the firmament, ancient civilization. My current beliefs are that the Earth is round. It's just an obvious fact. I don't even think we need to be out here proving that it's round because I think it's obvious. Obviously, we're going to be testing that today. I'm excited to hear what Nathan has to say. I can't believe that Blake is actually open to the idea of a flat Earth today. Ever since he broke up with his girlfriend, just he hasn't been the same. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Blake's just saying that because his girlfriend just broke up with him. I don't. Uh, want to, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Basically, my girlfriend Brianna, like, she recently became a flat earther, and because I wasn't a flat earther, she decided to, she wouldn't want to be with me. But sorry. And so um, that's part of the reason I want to. I don't know, I'm just kind of... Can I talk about their yeah, test? Yeah, I want to bring this up. With the help and funding of Harvard, we have finally come up with an experiment that's going to once and for all prove the shape of our Earth. So, this experiment is called the toilet paper experiment. It turns out the math is, because it gets exponentially bigger and bigger, if you could fold a toilet paper 20 times, you would reach outer space. I don't know how you're going to take a one mile piece of toilet paper and hit space. This may sound impossible, but it's actually true. Our toilet paper has a thickness of one thousandth of a centimeter, and every time the group folds it in half, the pile doubles in thickness. The pile will continue doubling and doubling until the twentieth fold, where the top of the pile will literally be in outer space. We will then balance a camera on top of the pile to safely observe the correct shape of our planet. You would uh, burst the bubble that the flat earthers say that we're in. Do I think I could fold the toilet paper twenty times? I think I could. Yeah, it's like, thin enough. Now, if you fold the toilet paper twenty times, the cause of that is you. It's not very hard to figure out. So this is what I mean when I say science has been hijacked. I expect to see a globe. It seems super easy to me. I don't even just get a piece of toilet paper and start folding it. Well, let's uh, do this. Are you ready? I'm pulling on the toilet paper. Yeah, it's gonna break. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna break. No, I think it'll work. It's, here, here, here. it's gonna work, you just pull it too hard. I'll just hold it. Yeah, Should we put it on the ground, maybe? Go for it. There'll be less wind down there. Here, hold these ones, Blake. We can't doubt it, Nathan. We have to believe. The toilet paper keeps ripping every couple feet because Nathan's pulling too hard. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It keeps ripping, dude. This will only take about seven hours. This will only take about seven hours. <laughs> so I'm excited to announce that we made a discovery. If we use duct tape, we can actually reconnect the rips that Nathan did. With this new duct tape discovery, there is nothing stopping us. At this rate, we might not just make it into outer space, but we might just even make it to the moon. I think we can make it to the moon. Woo! 
another day at the office. Literally out of nowhere, it gets really windy, and our toilet paper is not staying on the ground. <laughs> it's gonna work, guys, it's gonna work. The wind is destroying the whole experiment. It's like nothing's on our side anymore. I'm not, okay, seriously, I'm about to lose it. I'm getting pissed. I've done years of research for this. We drove all the way from Boston. My girlfriend dumped me three fucking days ago. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, honestly, you're doing a great yeah. job. You can't give up a lot is riding on this. Wait, what, what's wrong with Blake? He just went through a breakup. Dude, he always does this. But then out of nowhere, Nathan makes a new discovery. If we rock it up every five feet or so. If we place small rocks on the toilet paper, it prevents the wind from blowing it away. Dude, I'm professional at uh, unrolling toilet paper, guys, just so you know. <sighs> Obviously everything was going really rough and I look over and I see Ben and Nathan just working seamlessly together. Flat earther and a round earther, team working, working together. making it to the moon together. We figured out this new rock formation to keep the toilet paper down. It looks like I just gotta go join the team. We gotta get this done. I, I'm embarrassed. Look those ways, Rod. I just wanna say I'm sorry that I bit your hand off. Dude, it's all good, Blake. With Blake now on our team, there's no way we're not making it to the moon now. We're gonna do it. Yes! We had finally stretched out a full mile of toilet paper. Let the folding begin. All right, let's fold it. Oh, oh no, shit. it broke. Oh. It's, hold on. Okay. One fold. I can almost see my house from here. We are already 1 20th of the way to outer space. 19 more to go. Time for fold number two. Whoa, guys, you guys know I'm afraid of heights, right? <laughs> fold number two's done. That was easy. Are we going to need an oxygen mask? Three I think fold four was the easiest fold so far. Are we already at fold five? Fold six, done. Fold seven was a little bit hard. We made it up because fold eight was much, much easier. We're at fold nine. I'm feeling really good about reaching 20, maybe even 30, maybe even hit Venus. I take back what I said before, 10 is the max. Careful, don't fall off. We're getting up there, dude. Upon attempting fold 11, there, we ran into a few problems. It seems like no matter what we did, we weren't gonna actually reach our 11th fold this time. I think we overestimated how much we could fold it. In my opinion, I think 10 folds is enough to actually see the shape of our Earth, but I guess we'll have to really attach the camera to see for sure. Oh, that's the 360 degree camera. Yeah, just because you guys see all 360 degrees to know if it's like round or not, I guess. Just by looking through the 360 camera, I think it's pretty obvious to say that the Earth is definitely round. When you look at it, it does look round. Yeah, that's the lens. It's distorted from the lens. That's all you gotta do right there. Show me the curve. The Earth is a freaking sphere. We have all the evidence on my phone. So there are two very smart scientists on both ends making really good points. If the Earth's a ball, you know, it would curve. It's not curving, so. I just had to go with the facts, dude. Like it definitely looks like we're on a ball. But then Blake ends up bringing up a really good point. We're like two inches off the ground. It's not going to show anything. <laughs> Look, I did way more work than we had to do. Look. Yeah, I know. Guys, I don't understand how folding something is going to make it taller. Look, it obviously got shorter the more we folded it. It went from a mile to half a mile to quarter of a mile to six inches tall. Yeah. Just so you guys know. We tried as hard as we could on the toilet paper experiment. We gave it our best. If there was no wind, I think we could have done it. Also, right, can I just get uh, like confirmation that you're not gonna use the clip of me crying? I really don't want that. I could show you videos of me crying on the internet if it makes you feel better. I would love to yeah. see that. I'll show you. feel better. Uh, one of it was over my girlfriend drinking blood, so. She drank blood? Yeah, and was lying to me about it. Why was she drinking blood? Because weird people do weird things, dude. Was she, she must have been weird? Well, she was convinced that when you become a Christian, you have the blood of Jesus. Oh, are you talking about wine? No, she was poking her finger and drinking the blood from it. So. But she's not Jesus, that's not Jesus. She blood. isn't, exactly. Yeah, I agree. It's just her blood and it's already in her body. So why would okay. she need to take it out and put it back in? Next week on the Travel Channel's Flat Earth. <laughs> 
put one magnet here in California. Touching computer. One magnet here on the other side of the world. Wow.